Hipsters. We are getting a late start on the block today. It is Monday and Hudson and Dominic have already been to school. It's uh, yeah, it's, it's almost 6 p.m. Uh, I'm actually getting ready to go upstairs. I gotta do some dishes and I'm getting ready to start on dinner. Casey is in her office over there. She's doing a online class, which is going until like 8.30 at night. So I'm gonna be making food and kind of slide it under the door. <laughs> yeah, not a bunch going on today. I've been spending the whole afternoon. I didn't record anything for the weekend, so there wasn't anything to edit today, but I did sit down and start sending out some proposals to some brands, uh, trying to just, we're trying to make a little extra income with the channel. So like I've said before, you may see some commercials from this, which if you're a true hopester, you know that's a really good thing for the channel, especially when you have stuff like uh, the adpocalypse happening and the comments being deleted. Uh, I totally in agreement that YouTube is looking out for looking out for kids. Bit of a knee-jerk reaction. Uh, I don't know how deleting the comments for everyone uh, makes that happen, but definitely good that they did something quick. I was definitely in a panic mode there for a minute when it happened, but turns out I can enable the comments, and uh, I'm we're I'm pretty good at going through and checking comments anyway. I may reach out to a couple of the really regular hopesters that uh, maybe look for some of you to help moderate. I think all of you can actually help with that. I'll, I'm gonna look into it, but I think all of you, if you see something that's inappropriate, are able to flag comments. So if you see something that's inappropriate, definitely click it. Sometimes I, a comment might sound like someone's being a jerk, but sometimes when I read into a comment, I, I don't always think maybe they're being a jerk. Sometimes I think that person is maybe not knowing how to say the right thing. A good example would be somebody who says, what's wrong with your daughter, you know, and uh, we just don't say that, do we? There's nothing wrong with you, you're perfect, right? <laughs> people just don't understand our life, that's all, but maybe it's just people don't know what to say. If something's definitely overtly terrible, definitely uh, flag it. And, and I'm usually right on top of it myself. Anyway, Hudson's gonna be down here watching her Doc McStuffins. I think Dominic is upstairs watching his iPad right now. And uh, like I said, I got some dishes to do, so I guess we're gonna probably do a Dishes with Dan. <laughs> A little after six, of course. She eats at six, well, yeah, it's 6.15. She eats at 6.30. Around six o'clock, she attaches herself to my hip, but I'm actually loading up the dishwasher here, but I still have a bunch of dishes to do, and then I'm going to cross my fingers that it starts because it's, uh, dishwasher's being a little finicky lately, which means we're probably going to have to get a new dishwasher this year. Yay. <laughs> Been doing a lot of dishes by hand, but because this weekend was my birthday and we had some friends over, there's a whole bunch of dishes that didn't get done for the weekend. They were they came over on Saturday and then I'm not gonna lie, I was pretty hungover on Sunday, so so not a lot of dishes got done. And then of course I made some food yesterday, which means there were more dishes added to it. So I got quite the cleanup to do before I can even start making dinner for tonight. I keep having to run it through like a diagnostic cycle and then about 70% of the time it, it works. So it's going to run through a little diagnostic thing and then hopefully it'll start up. Uh, Casey just texted me, good news. She was thinking she went till 8.30, but she said it turns out this thing is on East Coast time. So for us, that's only 7.30. So she'll be done in like an hour. Okay, I think this thing went through. Yep, it ran through its diagnostic. After that bout with the flu and my hands getting so dry, like, I don't think I want that to happen. So, pow, man gloves. Man working gloves. <laughs> they don't sell these kind at the grocery store. You all have to get these at Home Depot. But they're just like kitchen gloves, only they're much thicker. And so they, I can use completely holy hot water and it doesn't burn my hands and they're like, really tough they're really 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 thick so um yeah i've had these for 
probably eight years. They're like the perfect house gloves. <laughs> Comparing ourselves to others. I try to do my best. You know, it's, it's kind of like keeping up with the Joneses. I've never really liked the whole thought of of trying to be like everybody else. I don't tend to buy stuff to impress other people. You know, like I like sports cars. You know, I don't want to have a GTR and drive it around on the street and cruise around so everybody can see me. I would rather have it and go to the track and race people. I just, I just never been a real keep up with the Joneses kind of guy. Well, it happens a lot with, um, with typical friends when they uh, will say bring up something that they're struggling with somebody says oh well my my girlfriend broke up with me and I was in love with her and now I'm single and I gotta figure something out and but you know that just I don't even know why I'm telling you my troubles because your you know your situation is so much harder and so how could I be one to complain I'm like my answer to them always is you don't have to compare your life. It's not a competition between who's got it worse. It's just because one person's got it rough with something doesn't mean that they don't understand how hard your your struggle will be. And everyone has their proverbial um, cross to bear. Now that's up or down. I think the the other way is true in that because your life is so hard that you shouldn't compare yourself to somebody who maybe has it easier and say, well, you know, where do, where do you get off being happy or where do you get off complaining? You know, you're, you lost a finger, I lost a leg. All of us in our struggles are doing our best. And I often think that the harder the struggle, the, just the more you step up to a level of compassion and understand that, yeah, some of that stuff that you used to care about seems very trivial to you now, but that doesn't mean that it's trivial to someone else who's not gotten to that, I don't know, level of enlightenment maybe through, through, through pain and struggles. Doesn't mean that just because their situation isn't a full on tragedy or or such that it's not hard for them. I guess all I'm saying is you don't need to compare yourself to, to others. Again, it's not a competition. We're all doing our best to get through every day. Sure, some people have it better than others and some people don't. There's no reason that we can't show compassion in both directions. Just live your life. Handle what you can handle and if you are having trouble, reach out for help. I'm going to give this dishwasher another shot to start it. And then I'm going to go back to watching some YouTube here on my laptop. I think we'll pick this back up at dinner. Probably make a really short vlog for today. <laughs> Hi, Smiley. You ready to watch a movie? <laughs> so, uh, empty bowl. I was going to uh, get back with you guys for dinner. My sister called while I was finishing cooking it. So, we've been chatting with her for about 45 minutes. Casey's getting herself... Is that what mom said? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Casey's getting herself a second bowl. I'm done. I'm pretty full. I made a big bowl, my first bowl. So I didn't have a big bowl. I'm, I'm good. Even I'm, good. I'm hungry. So I'm going to eat more. Don't judge me. You didn't eat much today. You just need to eat a lot now. <laughs> Plus, I want to keep a little space open for a snack later, like popcorn, because we're watching a movie. Uh, but it is yummy. Again, I'm going to shout out. Even though I. Uh, this is not a sponsored video by them. I am sending an email out to Hunts because I, I mean, I, I think at least once a week we, we eat this stuff. Hey, how's your scanty? Good. You want more? Do you want any more? I'll tell you when I do. Probably. <laughs> Look at all those dishes. Huh? Yeah. Great and, job, babe. Looks awesome. <laughs> That's, Casey said, did you feed Astrid while we were on the phone with my sister? And I was like, yeah. But she heard me say, yeah, go ahead and feed her. And then I heard her getting food out there. And I was like, what the? I was like, open the door. I said, I already fed her. She's like, oh, I heard you say that you go ahead and fed her. more than happy to go ahead and have the second bowl. <laughs> Astrid's like, yeah, yeah. I, I like this idea. I like this idea. Yeah, I'll be back real happy and mom will feed me again. <laughs> 
Uh, I think we're gonna head downstairs, close out the vlog. We're getting ready to sit down and watch A Star Is Born. <sighs> I've heard it's amazing, so let's go check it out. We're Gaga fans around here. Oh, yeah. We're good for Gaga. I've got my favorite pair of pajama pants on. My R2D2 pants. R2D2 pants. That he's got on his R2D2 pants. You ready to watch this movie? Mom, are you ready to listen to some of this music? Heck yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna do a really short episode today. Or I don't know. When I edit this, I'll find out if it was short or not. But it feels like I didn't. We didn't do anything really today. <laughs> but this is with Dan. Well, I just mean. Today. I just mean filming wise. So that's gonna wrap it up. Are you ready to wrap it up? Are we gonna get a smile from you today? We had smiles from you at the start of the vlog. Can we have some smiles at the end of the vlog? Where's a pretty smile for the end of the vlog? Can you show the hopesters how happy you are for the end of the vlog? Nope. All right, I guess not, but that'll do it. So let me remind you that to the world, you may be one person, but to one person, you may be the world. So go be somebody's world, and we'll see you when we see you. Bye, guys. Sugar bears, where's the smiles? <laughs>